these forty days of Lent, O oh Lord, be we fast and pray. Teach us to discipline our wills, and show us, Lord, thy way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> From the Magnificat of March 2023, Volume 24, Number 13, page 84. The Father's Measure. Criticism is easy. It is written within everyone's reach. A pessimistic nature easily finds the defects and shortcomings in others. But everyone, without exception, has defects. Even the saints needed a lifetime to become Christ-like, to become perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. Keeping an account of people's faults is a fruitless task. Not only are you showing your pride and ill will, but you are also wasting your time. To remember a person's defects is to hold on to the past and to con con concentrate on that person's worst side, as if no other side existed. No one's life is frozen. Everyone is constantly evolving, changing, growing. You must concentrate your entire attention on the present and the future rather than the past. One who has sinned, but who bears his or her past with sorrow, may be a saint today or become one tomorrow. Such a person may make swifter progress on the road towards holiness than me, than I do. While I waste my time and strength criticizing and complaining about others, those who seem to be, to me, to be further behind on the road, are setting out and moving forward quickly, and soon will have gone beyond me. The Venerable Francis Xavier Wynne Van Tuan. Cardinal Van Tuan, who died in 2002, was imprisoned by the Vietnamese communists for 13 years, during which time he secretly sent prayers and spiritual writings to his flock. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God arises to judge the earth. Come, let us adore him. Page 85. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> forgive our sins as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray, but you alone can grant us grace to live the words we say. How can your pardon reach and bless the unforgiving heart that broods on wrongs and will not let old bitterness depart. In blazing light your cross reveals the truth we dimly knew. What trivial debts are owed to us, how great a debt to you. Lord, cleanse the depths within our souls, and bid resentment cease, then bound to all in bonds of love, our lives will spread your peace. <clears throat> Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Luke 6, 37. One of the ways in which we carry out the age-old human temptation to become like gods is to appoint ourselves judges of the universe and all that is in it, including ourselves and others. Yet our judgments are often flawed by selfishness. It is better to leave judging in God's hands, as today's gospel exhorts us.
Luke 6, verses 36 to 38. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and the gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed down, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be in turn measured out to you. O oh Lord, open the doors of our heart to your mercy, to being channels of your mercy. And as we assess, as we must do, in living the prophetic vocation of the Christian, may we not pass the sentence of condemnation upon the souls of those who go against your law. But rather, may we leave that to you. And rather, may we pray and act in mercy and in firmness in establishing your will and beginning the conversion process with ourselves. That the gifts given will be a good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you rule all the nations. 1 Corinthians 4, 3 through 5. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or by any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. Who then are you to judge your neighbor? Who then are you to judge your neighbor? James 4.12 Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Luke 6.36 Who then are you to judge your neighbor? Who then are you to judge your neighbor? Intercessions on page 87 As sharers in the world's sin, we stand before the Lord and cry out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. To those who suffer from scrupulosity, grant the light to see the truth of your love. Lord, have mercy. To those who sit in judgment on their neighbors, grant the gifts of humility and charity. Lord, have mercy. To those who imagine themselves without fault, grant wisdom and self-knowledge. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the hymn on page 89, to the tune of Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow. Grant, Lord, that we, your servants all, saved by your tide of cleansing blood, no more need sin's dominion fall, nor fear the thought of death's dark flood. Your varied love each spirit bless, the humble cheer, the proud control. Check in each heart its vain excess, but raise the meek and the humble soul. Amen. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Matthew twenty three twelve. Pride sets subtle snares. Whenever we imagine that we are in control of life, our own, or 
someone else's. We have fallen prey to the ancient whisper in the garden. You shall be like gods. Mortality is the enduring reminder that we become like God, not by our own power, but by the power of the cross. <clears throat> from Lenten Reflections with Pope Francis, from Catholic Near East Welfare Association, 2023. Page 20. for the Monday of the second week of Lent. You can receive far more if you have a big heart. A big heart doesn't get entangled in other people's lives. It doesn't condemn but forgives and forgets as God has forgiven and forgotten my sins. <clears throat> in order to be merciful, we need to call upon the Lord's help, since it is a grace. And we also need to recognize our sins and be ashamed of them and forgive and forget the offenses of others. Men and women who are merciful have big, big hearts. They always excuse others and think more of their own sins. Were someone to say to them, but do you see what so-and-so did? They respond in mercy saying, but I have enough to be concerned over with what I have done. <coughs> And all of us, all peoples, all families, all quarters, if we all had this attitude, how much peace there would be in the world, how much peace there would be in our hearts. For mercy brings peace. Let us always remember, who am I to judge? To be ashamed of oneself and to open and expand one's heart. May the Lord give us this grace. O oh Lord, rather than be ashamed of ourselves, may we turn from the way of hatred, which so often disguises itself in self-righteousness. But rather, let us not turn into the way of condoning grave evil either. But let us rather be people cultivating that serenity of heart, even in the midst of our concerns against outrages, against justice, life, true peace, mercy, and truth. In holy splendor, the Lord will set forth his mighty scepter from Zion. We worship the one true God who made heaven and earth. God did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Turn your face away from my sins, blot out all my guilt. 1 Corinthians 9, 24-25 While all the runners in the stadium take part in the race, the award goes to one man. In that case, run so as to win. Athletes deny themselves all sorts of things. They do this to win a crown of leaves that withers, but we a crown that is imperishable. Turn your face away from my sins, blot out all of my guilt. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. O Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Christ Jesus, hear our humble petition, for we have sinned against you. O Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Listen to us, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against you. Tell no one about the vision you have seen until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. O oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Let us give thanks continually to Christ, our teacher and our head. 
who came to serve and to do good to all, in humility and confidence, let us ask him, come, Lord, to visit your family. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, be present to the bishops and priests of your church, who share your role as head and shepherd. May they lead your people to the Father under your guidance. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. May your angel be with all who travel to keep them safe in soul and body. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Teach us to serve the needs of others and to be like you who came to serve, not to be served. Grant that in the human family, brother may always help brother, so that with your assistance, it may be a city compact and strong. Have mercy on all the dead and bring them to the vision of your glory. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. God our Father, help us to hear your Son. Enlighten us with your word that we may find the way to your glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Isaiah 58, 7. Share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. <clears throat> Romans 12, 1 through 2. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. From the Magnificat Lenten Companion, February 22nd to February, April 9th, Lent 2023, page 26. Monday of the second week of Lent, a meditation by Mary Beth Newcomet. Newcomet. Divine mercy in the family. Every year, our family gathers for vacation together. Fourteen people, four generations, two weeks, one roof. I think we would all agree close and intimate family time together is mostly really beautiful and sometimes really hard. While I am always challenged by Christ's insistence on mercy and forgiveness towards strangers or people, I encounter occasionally, his command to stop judging, stop condemning, and give good gifts can sometimes be difficult with those we have been given to love in the family. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. How often do I lack mercy with my nearest and dearest? In the middle of the generational sandwich between elders and grandchildren, I beg for a good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, to be poured into my lap. Will I enter into that vacation experience with fixed judgments? about each person, or will I receive each one with a new gaze and an open heart? Christ offers himself as the only way for me to love these most intimate ones in the manner that my heart deeply desires, but cannot sustain. And so every afternoon I go to my room and pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, confident in his promise of divine love, and hopeful for the grace to share that full measure with my family. Divine Father, Eternal Father, your divine mercy is revealed in the face of your beloved Son. Help me to recognize his presence 
in these most intimate faces of my extended family. Oh Lord, help me to do some act of kindness to someone who would never expect it. Confirm our hearts, confirm the hearts of your faithful, we pray, O oh Lord, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you, and sincere in love for one another, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins, and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. For the meditation from the Magnificat of March 2023, page 80. Though we have sinned and been wicked and done evil, our Father astoundingly is merciful. He desires to pour into our laps gifts in good measure. But in our rebellion, we often fail to recognize his mercy or show it to others. True union with God always entails our assimilation to him, by which we are able to adopt the compassion and forgiveness that are his. For the true measure of loving God is to love God without measure, said St. Bernard of Clairvaux. Redeem me, O Lord, and have mercy on me. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless the Lord in the assembly. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth despair, lust of power, and idle talk. But give, rather, the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. And I detest all my sins because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love, I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. O radiant light, O sun divine, of God the Father's deathless face, O image of the light sublime, that fills the heavenly dwelling place. Lord Jesus Christ, as daylight fades, as shine the lights of eventide, we praise the Father with the Son, the Spirit blessed and with them one. O Son of God, the source of life, praise is your due by night and day. Unsullied lips must raise the strain of your proclaimed and splendid name. Amen. <coughs> Let us bless the Lord.